Hello, so today I'm going to be showing how I take my S out of hibernation. So I am by no means an expert, but this is what I am doing based on the uh, sort of what everybody else has been saying to me. So I put my ants in October the 12th, and I was planning on taking them out January the 12th, but it's uh, January the 17th now, so I gave them a little bit of extra time to warm up. So I keep my ants at about uh, 3 degrees, which I know for some people maybe it's a little bit too cold, but I found anywhere above 3, they were waking up constantly, and of course I don't want to be having them lay eggs during diapause. Um, so with these ants, I sort of just been keeping them in this shoe box. I have checked on them quite a few times to check their water levels and whatnot. So hopefully um, they have all made it. So we'll go through the whole process of checking them all out. So I did label them in case I forgot since so upside down. But this is a Campernonis Herculanus and you can see them in there. Nice little colony. Queen is alive, everybody's moving. Uh, a little bit slow, but that's to be expected. They're still warming up. So what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start by cleaning this tube. So this tube's a little bit dirty. So here, pop this out. I have some wet Q-tips. I'm just gonna clean some of this junk out. This is probably just honey crystals left over. It's not perfect, but it works. There's a little bit of honey crystals left over from earlier on in diapause when I was just feeding them honey. So for these particular ants, since they have looks like quite a sorry, quite a bit of brood in there, you can see it in there. I'm gonna make sure they get lots of protein. So I'm gonna start by giving them a little uh, cricket here, cute little fellow. Give them a squish. Pop him in there, he's been diced up a little bit, but there you go, nice little cricket for them. They're probably like, oh my god, who is this? So, oh, with the crickets, the cricket is just for the brood, remember? Worker ants do not really need that much protein, so we want to give them some honey as well. So for honey, I just have um, some organic honey, nothing fancy. I use a toothpick, I dip it right into honey. This honey is just for the ants. And I put it on a little piece of paper. And the reason why I do this is just because it's a little nicer. Easier to clean up, so I don't have to clean the whole tubes every single time. So I'll just pop that in there. And plug them back up. Good. And just like that. So they're kind of freaking out and moving their eggs around. So... <laughs> Make sure they're nice and sealed in here. So I'm gonna take this little cover, pop that back on. They are gonna go back in the fridge for a little bit while they still continue to warm up. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So here, oops, sorry, <laughs> we have a little uh, lysis queen. You're on camera there. I caught a whole bunch of these. I'm not sure exactly what they are. I've had different people tell me different things, uh, but all enough for one thing, they are beautiful. And they are lysis. <laughs> um, so for these ones, uh, we are going to be feeding all of the queens today. But um, yeah, this queen doesn't look like she has any eggs. No, she has no eggs. But um, she does look quite healthy. But you know, since it is still winter time, I'm not going to be releasing them or anything. Um, but if she doesn't lay any eggs by the time that other ants start flying... I will be releasing these queens that have not laid eggs. Just to, I guess, maybe give them a chance. Let them go back into nature and to free up some test tubes. So same thing like I did with the other ones. Put a little bit of honey, piece of paper, and put it in for her. Oops, a nice little gentle fold. There you go. One is done. So, I, like I said, I did have a couple of these queens. This one, really skinny. She still has most of her wings. 
no eggs, but definitely quite skinny. So I'm going to be giving her, of course, some honey, like I said, with all the other ants. All the ants. Today I'm going to be feeding them, giving them some snack. And this one looks like quite, um, quite thin, so I think she will appreciate it. We like our ants fat here. Nice obese ants. This is another one of those Lysis queens. She has, looks like one and a half wings in a test tube that's really a little bit low on water. If you can see here, it doesn't quite show because my camera's downwards, but it is a little bit low. Uh, she looks thin, slow, but awake. She still got her wings for the most part. I'm sure she would really like something to eat, so. Give her a snack. She doesn't have a whole lot of room here. Um, I'll just fold this and put it in just like that. But yeah, quite quite thin looking ant. Um, but we'll put her back in here. So we also have what's Capnatus novabarisensis, one I did label. She's a chonker, as you can see. She actually laid a couple of eggs uh, during diapause. Um, oops, sorry. It looks like she has about maybe one and a half eggs. I gotta take a bit off camera so I can actually see. Yeah, she's got, looks like maybe one, one, one egg and then maybe a little larva. I'm not sure. I know she definitely ate one of them because she had about four before. So, um, or sorry, not four. She had two before, two larva. So she might have ate one of them, which is okay. <laughs> it happens. It happens to the best of us and the rest of us. So this one, she loves to eat. She is an eater. So I'm going to be giving her some honey as well. And I'm just feeding them on little pieces of uh, cooking paper, parchment paper. Just give her a nice big chunk. And knowing this one, I'm sure she will clean it up real quick. Here she goes. Pop that cotton back in there. I find it's always, oopsie daisy, shit. Put that in too far. Oh crap, there we go. Let's try that again. I wanna be able to get it out next time. Might not have nails next time, so there it goes. Like I was saying, it's pretty helpful to put a little cover on them so you remember which one's which. Uh, but like I said, if anyone knows what those lices are, um, I'd be really appreciative if someone was to tell me, because I do not know. So here's another uh, lysis queen from that mystery batch. Again, doesn't look like she has any eggs. Um, I do see a couple of dark spots, but it might just be poops. <laughs> this one's pretty fat compared to the other ones. So she's pretty well fed. I did get a couple uh, queens that were skinny. Like I said, I did catch them all in one day. I caught about uh, 14 queens in one place. Some of them unfortunately passed away. Um, a few of them are in my bedroom that did go into hibernation mostly because they had so many eggs. Uh, they basically started laying almost a week after I got them and I got them um, pretty close to the end of the season. They were the last, last queens that I that I caught outside. So there she is. Uh, so the next one, we'll go to is this little Marmica queen. We can see her in there. Pretty cute. I have another one of these that I did not hibernate. Um, and she's doing pretty good. So for this one, I think we're gonna feed her. She has a bit of honey in there, which you can see it's kind of just turned to water. So we'll clean that out. Just 
executed as a quiet rage. Mm. There we go. Wet white Q-tip. And remember when you have non claustral queens, you do need to feed them some proteins. I'm just going to grab um, some crickets real fast. Sort of kind of the off season when most of my ants are in diapause or hibernating. I do keep crickets frozen in a package in my freezer. Um, I find that it just makes sense to not keep any live insects. Like I do have uh, some mealworms, which have since turned to beetles. Um, but um, I kind of let the mealworms live out their lives instead of feeding them. But I will oops, be keeping some more um, mealworms in the future. As they have more ants to look after. As much as I like crickets, I don't really. I hope you guys can't hear my bird screaming. He's losing his damn mind. I kind of just have him here. Just give him a little bit of a snip. Use him to feed a couple for her. Yeah, use it to feed a couple of different um, ants. I know I have. Oh god, they scare the. I don't like crickets. To be honest, they kind of creep me out. I don't mind the black ones, but the these ones they're creepy. So I got a couple of legs, a couple of thighs. <laughs> Snap the legs off. Oops, and I just lost an antenna, and it's on my lap. Joy! Absolute joy. Probably better if I put this down, but whatever. There we go. So apparently ants like legs. So, got a couple legs for those little smaller queens that I'm going to be feeding. But for this Marmica queen... Wait, here she is. Here she is. Oh, this is a different one. Sorry. Sorry. I put her over here. She's right here. So I'll be giving her a little bit of crooked head, a crooked butt, actually not a crooked head, crooked head. There we go. And honey, I just I think I threw my papers on the floor. Uh, yep, I don't know where they went, they're gone. So I'm going to use some more little pieces of paper, throw the cricket leg off my lap. This queen, again, I'm just going to give her just a little bit of honey. Because they are quite small, these queens, but they, they do need food as well. So go that in there. And done. So hopefully she'll be happy. There she is. Very small, very cute. Got super lucky and found these. So this one, um, she came with her wings on. Looks like she has since ripped them off. I'm not seeing any eggs in here as well. Or actually, I think there might be a couple of eggs. It's hard to tell if it's mold or eggs. Since their eggs are so small. Uh, but I want to say it's probably... Eh, it looks like mold to me. <laughs> their test tube is pretty gnarly. You can see junk everywhere. Uh, I did have a whole bunch of these queens in one test tube. About four of them. So this one is probably the original test tube. Because it has... You can see little bits of wings and other debris on there. Mostly like dirt. I didn't want to stress them out when I first got them by cleaning them too early, so I kind of just left it. So for this queen, I'll go ahead and give her 
I guess, a couple legs. Perfect legs. Okay, there you go. I take it off screen because I really can't see when they're here that well. So, let me go a couple crooked legs. Oh, she's going for it already. Let's see. Oh, she turns back, but she was going right towards it. She's probably pretty hungry. And also, just like all the others, I'm gonna give her a little bit of honey too. So hopefully, these two will give us some little eggs, because I really do like these little tiny red queens. They make me happy. So I'm um, moving on. I got. Look, this one's not labeled. A uh, Formica queen. So she has one baby. I had some difficulties with her in the beginning. Um, she kept eating her eggs. Now, I think because she was the first, this was one of the first queens that I caught um, since I started anting. And I think I just checked on her too much because I was just, oh my God. I was just um, too excited really to, to, uh, too excited to check on her. So you can see her in there. Looking pretty sweet, pretty cute, with a little baby. So for her, I'm gonna give them um, both some protein. Clean it off a bit. Both some protein and Honey. So I'll give her the rest of that cricket butt. There it is. And give them some honey as well. Tiny little baby. I love little baby ants. Little Ninetes Grosol Spawn. So there she is. Hopefully she doesn't stay too stressed and this bit of sleep helped calm her a bit. So this is another queen that I caught who's in a broken test tube. So I just noticed now there's huge cracks along the side. This test tube honestly looks like it's gonna break in half any minute now. So this is why it's important to check on your ants during hibernation. Clearly I missed this one. Because it must have gotten too cold. Maybe it was too much to the back of the wine cooler and cracked. Really not sure. I'm going to be putting her in a new test tube as soon as I can. Because obviously this is not ideal. Looking in real close. I don't see any eggs. Just some mold. Pretty healthy looking queen. Fat enough. But uh, I think I'll be, yeah, putting her in a new test tube and throwing this test tube in the garbage. Cause like, what the heck? So I won't be feeding that one. So this, uh, queen, another one of my Formica queens. I have her in this test tube I got from uh, AliExpress. Beautiful queen. I love this one. She has so much character and she's really fun to watch. I, um, I had her out. Uh, in my room for a while but she uh, she never laid any eggs um but this test tube i literally have not filled it um since um well when did i put them in since october and i've just been kind of monitoring the water levels and you can see there's still quite a bit of water in there i think it's about three quarters full three quarters would be one third full i guess it's kind of hard to tell uh, but it's definitely still water, and I'll be putting some more in it real soon. Um, so for her, looks like she has a bit of honey on this paper. Looks like it's mostly water now. Huge piece of cotton. So we'll be pulling this out. And of course, there you go. And I guess I'll just give her a new piece of tissue. A 
little bit of honey in the tube. I really, the thing I really like about this test tube is that it offers a really great feeding area. That's one of the issues that I have with um, most um, bamboo style tubes is that they only have this and a very small opening, which you can see here. Um, usually they have two or three of these, um, but instead this one, it just has a clear opening, which is perfect for feeding. Sort of allows sort of a natural um, exit way for them. So this will shove all this cotton back. So these are all the queens that I did not put uh, in my room, all the queens that I decided to put into dye paws. I'll be putting them back in the fridge, um, probably for another week or two, just to make sure that they have enough time to warm up. But I do apologize for filming this video vertically for the first half. <laughs> Oops. I had totally not noticed at all. But hey, I did notice part way through, so hopefully the rest um, is, you know, has has been watchable. Anyways, thank you again. Hopefully we get to see these uh, colonies grow. I'm going to be sending probably one of these um, little lysis queens off to my school. So I'm sure the students would really like to see them. So hopefully some of them do lay some eggs and um, they'll be, you know, great uh, learning opportunity for some of the students. Anyways, thank you. Uh, yeah, please, please leave a like. And yeah, thanks, bye. Okay, so I'm just going to be moving this queen here that was in the broken test tube into this very small uh, W. ants formicarium. I bought this from a uh, canned ant colony and my bird is screaming his heck and mind off. Uh, so the thing that I liked about this nest is that it's super small, perfect for one queen, especially a smaller queen. However, the only thing I did not like about it is that you have to use these super tiny, uh, you can see how small they are, they're not very deep, super tiny little um, uh, sponges to water it. Now, since the hole is about halfway up, not even halfway up in the middle, the water tends to kind of pour out the holes. So it's pretty useless in that respect. Um, but it does look quite nice. I have the little sand they put in there that uh, kind of dirt in the glasses flew on. And I have a little bowl there. It has, it did have honey in it. So I did have a previous queen in it, but I had to take her out because her wings uh, routinely would get wet and stuck. So there is a bit of water in the tube right now. I attached this myself. This is just a little rubber stopper. And I filled it up with water and a piece of cotton there. And since I squished it while putting the stopper in, a little bit of it came out, which is okay. This will really quickly um, evaporate. So let's see how well we can film this. Eh, not that good. I'm going to be taking this little queen out. And unfortunately, I'm just going to have to dump her in. It's not really a good way to get her out. Um, and by the looks of it, it looks like she really wants to get out anyway. So, let's just pull this out here. She's beautiful, isn't she? And really carefully. Oops, plop. So our ants are pretty, st pretty strong animals, resilient creatures. So there she is, just moving in. I'll give her some honey on a piece of paper. Kind of threw it at her. Eventually she'll figure out the entrance is right there and she'll move in on her own. In case you're worried about her, she sorry, is gonna do fine. Anyway, I guess that's actually the end of the end of the video. Um, yeah, pretty little queen exploring. Probably wants to go back to bed. I'll put her back in the fridge with the other one cool with the others. Goodbye.